In this lecture, we are going to study about escape sequences. So we will see what are escape sequences in C++, what they are used for, and what are their functions. So coming to escape sequences, characters such as backspace or control characters have no visible image and they are non-printable. So sometimes we want to represent characters such as backspace or control characters. Now think about backspace. When you think of backspace in your keyboard, you press that key and then when you press that key, it erases one of the letters. But what if you want to print the backspace or represent it? So we know that we don't have a visible image or we know that it is non-printable. So for that kind of characters, we will be using this escape sequences. And then other characters like single and double quotation marks, question mark and backslash have special meaning in the language. Now there are some other characters like single and double quotes and question mark and backslash. So these kind of characters have special meaning in the language. So, so far we have been writing quite a few programs in C++ and we have seen the use of single quotes, double quotes and even backslashes. So for example, when you want to print something using the cout statement, we put what we want to print inside the double quotation marks. So we know that double quotation marks, they are part of the syntax and they have some special meaning. Now, what if you want to print the double quotation mark? So at that time, we need to make use of the escape sequence. So we will see that when we move ahead. So our programs cannot use any of these characters directly. So as our programs cannot use these characters directly, we will be making use of the escape sequences, which we will be seeing in a while. So instead, we use an escape sequence to represent such characters. Now, how do we represent escape sequences? Escape sequences will always begin with a backslash as shown here. So we will always use a backslash in front of the escape sequence in order to denote that it is an escape sequence. So let us see some examples and we will see some of the escape sequences that are there in the C++ programming language. So the language defines several escape sequences. So we will see some of the escape sequences that are defined in the C++ programming language. So here are some of the escape sequences defined in the C++ programming language. So this is not the complete list, but we will just see a few of the examples so that you get an idea about what are the escape sequences. So here, first of all, we have slash n. So we see that it is beginning with a backslash. So we already said in the previous slide that escape sequences will always begin with a backslash. So we have this backslash n. Now let's see what it means. So backslash n means a new line. That means whatever you print after this slash n will be printed in a new line on the screen. So that is what it means. Now the next one is slash t. Now slash t means a horizontal tab. So if you give a slash t after something in your cout statement, then a horizontal tab will be printed in that line. And now next we have slash b. Now slash b stands for backspace. So if you want to represent the backspace, then you can use this slash b. And if you use this slash b, then the character after this slash b will be erased. Okay, now next we come to slash double quotation marks. Now we already know that double quotation marks, they have a special meaning in our C++ syntax. Now what if you want to print this double quotation mark? then we will have to use the escape sequence. That means we will give the backslash before this double quotation marks. And then the compiler understands that this is not the part of the syntax, but we are trying to print this double quote in our screen. So whenever we use this slash double quotes, then it will be printed on the screen. Now, similarly for single quote also, we can use this slash mark and the single quote mark and then it will print this single quote on the screen. So we'll be taking some examples and it will become clearer when we take the examples. Okay, now next one is we have these two backslashes. So what do we mean by these two backslashes? Now we know that a single backslash is used to represent an escape sequence. Now what if you want to print a backslash on the screen? Then if you just use a single backslash, then the compiler thinks that it is an escape sequence and something is going to be followed after that and then it may try to look for an escape sequence. But if you want to print this backslash, you have to use double backslash. So this first backslash represents that it is an escape sequence and the second backslash represents that 
it is an actual backslash that has to be printed. So double backslashes will mean that we are printing the backslash on the screen. Okay, now next we have question mark slash question mark. So it is used for printing question mark. And then next we have slash R. So slash R stands for carriage return. So carriage return is nothing but it will return the cursor to the beginning of that line. So that is what carriage return is used for. So these are not things that are commonly used, but for your knowledge, I am sharing this with you. And then the next one is slash A, which is an alert or a bell. So if you use this slash A, then a bell sound can be heard in your system. So this may not work in all the compilers. So if you just try it on your system, it is not sure that it will work, but it will work in some systems as well. Okay, so these are some of the escape sequences that are defined by the C++ programming language. Now we will take an example where we will write a program making use of few of the escape sequences that we have seen here and we will compile and run that program to see their working. Okay, so let's go to the example. So coming to the example, here is a small program. So here we have the main function and I have a C out statement. So we just want to print these things on the screen. So let's see what is there in this C out. So it says here, this will be followed by a new line. And then I give a slash n over here, which means that after this word which says new line, the rest of these things should be printed on the next line and should not continue here. Okay. And then it says, and after this, I want a horizontal tab. And here I put this slash t. So that means after this word tab, there will be a horizontal tab given. Okay. Now here I want a backslash. So here I want to print an actual backslash, but we know that backslash has a special meaning in our language. So in order to print it, we need to use an escape sequence that is another backslash. So by making use of two backslashes, it will actually print a single backslash. All right. And I want to write this word in double quotes. So this word double quotes, I want it to be in actual double quotes. But we know that in C out statement, double quotes, they mean something else. So in C out statement, whenever we use double quotes, it means that we are starting something that has to be printed on the screen. So the compiler takes it that way. But if we want to actually print double quotes on the screen, then I have to use the escape sequence that is slash double quotes and here also slash double quotes and this in single quotes. Now, Similarly, just like for double quotes, even for single quotes, we use the escape sequence slash. And then here I again use the escape sequence. So what basically is going to happen is this word called single quotes will be enclosed within single quotation marks. All right. Then there is one more sentence which says, let us see if all this works correctly. And I want a question mark symbol here. So I use a backslash and then I put a question mark. So which means question mark will be printed. And then here it says, Okay, so I write the word OKAY and then there is an extra Y over here. So I want to cut out the extra Y by using the backspace escape sequence, which is slash B. So we will see if this slash B or the backspace escape sequence will cut out this extra Y that is there in OK. All right, so let us go to Visual Studio Code and we'll run this program and we will see if it is working as expected. Okay, so here we come to Visual Studio Code and here I have written down that same program that I showed you in the slide. Now let us run this program and see if it is working properly. So first of all, let me compile it. So the name of my program is escape underscore seq dot cpp. So I type g plus plus escape seq dot cpp and I press enter and we see the program is compiled successfully. There are no errors. Now let me run the program dot slash a dot exe and I press enter. Okay, so the program has run successfully. Now let us see if it is working as expected. So here it says this will be followed by a new line. So after this word which says new line, I have given a slash n over here. So because of that, you see all the rest of the things they got printed in a new line over here. It did not get continued here, but it got printed in a new line. So the slash n is working properly. And then here I said I want a horizontal tab and then I gave slash t. So after this word horizontal tab, we see there is a tab over here. There is a space here. So we saw that horizontal tab is also working properly. 
and then here it says now I want a backslash. So for backslash what did we use? We used double backslashes in order to represent a single backslash. So you see here this single backslash is printed. So that backslash is not treated as part of the syntax but it is treated as something that has to be printed on the screen. Okay and then I want to write this word in double quotes. So we see for this word double quotes I used slash double quotes and slash double quotes. So we see that this word double quotes got enclosed within actual double quotes. So these are double quotes that are printed on the screen and are different from this double quote that we have in the cout statement. Okay and similarly and this in single quotes. So for single quotes also we use the same process and we see that the word single quotes also got enclosed within actual single quotes. And then here it says let us see if all this works correctly and we wanted to give a question mark so we gave backslash question mark so we see that the question mark got printed correctly. So question mark sometimes can also be printed without this backslash but for understanding we see that it can also be printed in this way as well. Okay now we see that the word OK, OKAYY -Y. so there was an extra Y and because I use this slash B which stands for backspace that extra Y got cut out and we see OKAY is printed only one Y is there. So we see this is how the working of the escape sequences take place. Alright so that was an example about the working of the escape sequences few of the escape sequences that we have discussed in this lecture. So with that I hope you understood what is the meaning of escape sequences, what they are used for, how they can be represented and how they can be used in our programs for special purposes like we have seen in the example. So I hope this lecture was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.